We are at the beginning of a marathon day of panels of experts and business leaders, uh, innovators, and practitioners uh, who will be here all day to talk about the multiple benefits of investments in renewable energy and energy efficiency. Um, and there are a lot of great benefits. We're talking about jobs, emissions reductions. Uh, we're talking about savings for families. We're talking about all sorts of benefits. I don't think it takes uh, much uh, to remind people over the last several days how critical uh, reducing our energy demands are to our economy with weather at 100 plus degrees, with the water off Florida, 90 plus degrees, uh, we have a climate crisis. And one way to resolve that crisis is to reduce our use of energy. Over the last three years, this country has seen unprecedented growth in the renewable energy sector. This growth has contributed to our national energy supply and security. Here in the Senate, we have made significant legislative breakthroughs, supporting these efforts over the past few years as well. We're looking at ways that we can get funding to do efficiency broadly across all communities. Um, that's really, really important. Um, but in addition to that, we know that the IRA investments are also really a big push. And we've been seeing now as money's coming out, how people are reacting to it and taking it. Um, we are expanding energy efficiency tax credits. Um, we have rebate programs, we have incentive programs, we have retrofit programs for government buildings. We have programs so that um, localities can adopt more recent energy codes. The future energy system is opportunity. I know we are going to talk to you about obstacles and hindrances and disagreements, but if we don't all agree that the future energy system, our future energy system is opportunity, we won't get there. I always say that uh, this country is in no need of being made great. It is great. What we've got to do is figure out the ways and means to make this country's greatness accessible and affordable for all of its citizens. That is what should be our objectives. I really want to thank all of you who've been working so hard for so many years to try to make sure we get the policy right. We have lots of great engineers. We have great innovation. That is really helping drive our efforts forward, that basic innovation. But I do think we need to continue to focus on the positive in terms of job creation, uh, in terms of lowering the cost of energy. Uh, through more uh, efficiency uh, and renewable energy. And you're all part of that really very, very important uh, mission.